It's the Captain and Carrie here. And do you guys want to know what movie really sucked to watch? Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane? More like Citizen Lame. I mean, like, how can a movie that was made way back in 1941, when my grandmother was practically a child, be considered one of the greatest movies of all time? Oh, wait. It can't. No. Nope. I don't get it at all. I fell asleep about 30 minutes in. Literally, I had to keep pinching my arms to keep looking alert. The movie just kept going on and on. It was like sitting in a traffic jam during rush hour in LA. The sounds of the traffic just all blur together like the voices on the old scratchy film. One time when I had to drop my dad off at the airport, my mom and I got stuck on Oh, was it the 405, 504? I don't know. It was some stupid freeway we got stuck on for like five hours. That's the same feeling I had watching Citizen Lame. Lame. I mean, like, old movies are fine. Not really. But for the sake of argument, let's say. But, like, Citizen Kane has such hype around it, which makes you think, like, oh, I should probably watch this movie. And then you turn it on, and it's all in black and white mm -hmm. like every other movie we watch in this stupid class. And the men in this movie have absolutely nothing in common with the 21st century teen. Like, so what do I care about an old man who utters rosebud on his deathbed? Like, just die, old man, just die. And guess what, girlies? Rosebud? isn't even the love of his life or a person at all. Isn't that just so fake of her? So fake. Like, maybe if the movie had been filmed in color, it could be a little bit more compelling. So like, they should probably try a remake, but that would crush probably like every single film critic out there, except for me, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe if it was filmed in color, it would have helped it, but... No, it wouldn't. I mean, they should have filmed it like the traffic jam scene in La La Land. All that bright color and dancing. Ugh, oh, that's the best traffic jam scene in a movie ever. I agree. The old man who teaches my film class did try to explain to me that Orson Welles, the director, tried to use shadows and darkness to symbolize the encroaching sadness. Oh, no. Confusion hmm. and mystery uh, that all surrounded the life of Charles Foster Kane. So, like, that's kind of cool. Sort of. I also read that Wells didn't want anyone to take a crayon to his film. So, I guess a colored version wasn't even on the table. Please take ca the captain's words in mind and don't ever watch Citizen Lane. In conclusion, the Captain and Carrie give Citizen Lame a zero out of five stars. Total boring trash. And that's just how we see it. But we'll see you guys next time with a new movie and a new review. Peace.